It was in 2012, right? 2012, and I didn't uh, climb Everest, and on the way back, he gave his oxygen to another needy person. So he, as a result, he got into a problem by himself. This is how did he die last year? I was the one who gave her the last oxygen. And then this is her sister. We find each other on the way, yes? Coffee shop. And today we talk about it. What time did you see the Didi? The uh, Sherpa girl? I mean, uh, Nepali Canadian girl? Uh, one walk along and uh, Hillary Steps. Hillary step. So what happened? Uh, there's, she have an oxygen, not oxygen. Huh. Maybe oxygen finish. So she uh -huh. asked me, and you have oxygen. Uh -huh. But I have also no oxygen. no oxygen, just only NF4 member, uh -huh. and then she went off, on, but she's a, a summit, uh -huh. but they have Sherpa is, I don't know the Sherpa is not experienced. Uh -huh. he, he's my cousin, uh -huh. he says, please, uh, uncle, help me uh -huh. rescue for the... Korenga? Crazy. Yes. Okay. So I, I, I thought... No good, maybe I, I don't go there. And I need uh, other Sherpa, is good Sherpa, uh -huh. strong Sherpa. Uh -huh. He say, okay. He come. Uh, six Sherpa. So he was trying to descend down. And just he was just dragging his, his body. He, has, he had energy, but he, he lost his crime bonds. There was, there was no crime bonds. So we were happened to meet him. Uh, we were we were we were also coming down to base camp just after uh, summit after making summit. Then I met him uh, just below eleven. So it was like <coughs> he said he can walk, but he doesn't have crampons, and it was hard because he got frostbite. And I I, I asked about him. I asked him what happened. He said. I got frostbite, I have no cremons, and so it is difficult for me to descend. Try to share our water, I had a bottle of water, then I gave uh, to my clients, and I drank myself, and uh, I, I was thinking of him, I was thinking of Adin, so I just gave water to Adin, but he has lots of fluids just running from his nose, and it was so nasty to drink that water, <laughs> just sharing that water. So we're just making him descend slowly, 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 but it was really difficult because he didn't have crumbs and his legs were frequently just slippy. Yeah, very yeah, slippery. Very slippery. But I, I, I even tried my, I even tried to give my crumbs to him, but his boot was so big, so <laughs> my my crumbs didn't attach with that. Twenty-four-year-old Israeli mountain climber Nadav Ben Yehuda, who rescued a Turkish climber during an excursion on Mount Everest, will receive a Presidential Medal of Honor during a ceremony at President Perez's residence in Jerusalem next month. Despite the hardship and the fact that he had to give up his dream of being the youngest Israeli to conquer the world's highest peak, Ben Yehuda said that he has no regret. We had fall down Eden, and it's in Nadav say, "I know, I want to go up summit." And I say, your finger is too cold, yeah? Hmm. You have, and Nadav is cold, cold every time, crying. And I say, this is danger for you also, and Eden also, for me also. I heard after Eden again this year, in 2013, he's again, he wants to climb Everest for the for second time. Then I heard uh, news that some Israeli people, they told he, he they <laughs> rescue Eden, but it was not rescue, we were just helping him. We were not rescuing him. So just some people told that he, they rescued Edin, but it is not the fact that they rescued because we just helped. Then when we got down, and then it was kind of humility for from one person to another person. It was just a help, not the rescue. Is not rescue, not help. Is okay. no. Sometimes it's each other. This is a woman. Yeah?